Hello, this is Jerry Job, and this is a video about the new release of Snapseed version 2.0. It looks totally different, but it works much the same. If you're familiar with Snapseed, this is the video for you. I'm going to open a video, open a photo. It can open from the device, the camera, or the latest image from your camera roll. I'm going to go into my camera roll and choose this image of a dogwood blossom. You'll see that this layout is different in that you don't see all the different modules such as tune image, uh, details, um, crop, straighten, HDR scape, frames, etc. You don't see all those right here on the screen. You get to them by tapping the big plus sign on the lower right hand side of your screen. And there they are. The first thing I'm going to be doing with this is crop. Now this will look much like what you saw in Snapseed before. You've got the handles around the crop window. Down at the bottom you select your format. In this case I'm going to go square. And then I grab my edges. Come in here. What I'm trying to do is get just the bloom into the image here. Just a tad larger. You accept a change by tapping the check mark at the lower right, you discard a change by tapping the X on the lower left. I accept that. The first thing I notice is that there's some dots. Well, it turns out that there's a new feature called Spot Repair that will help me fix those dots. I zoom in, and you'll see there's a circle in the center. I want my largest blemish to fit within that circle. So, I tap on that, and the blemish disappears. I can go around the screen and tap on other blemishes, and they will also disappear. If you look down at the bottom center, we've got a number of spots that we've fixed so far is 8, and there it goes to 9. There's also a gray square with a blue outline in it, and that blue outline shows you where within your image you're zoomed into. I can tap on that blue and move it around within the gray and move around within the screen. There's a piece of yellow pollen here that I want to get rid of also. Let's get rid of this dot right here and this one down here and 11 spots that's what we're gonna fix. We accept those changes. The next thing we might want to do is tune the image. This is You should be familiar with this if you're familiar with Snapseed, the old version. And this works the same way. As you move, slide your finger up and down on the screen, you're choose be, choosing between the different controls. Brightness, ambiance, contrast, saturation, shadows, highlight, and warmth. And so I can go to ambiance let up my finger, and then I can move my finger from left to right to increase or decrease the ambiance. Let's add just a tad of ambiance to it somewhere in here. Then let's add a little warmth to it. At any time I can go to the uh, little square that's in the upper right, the divided square, and tap on it and it will show me a before and an after before, after version. If I like what I have, I accept it. The petals themselves have a little too much structure in it for my taste. I would like to blur that out a little bit. So there's a new feature called Glamour Glow that allows me to do that. A default glow of 27 was added. I can see the before and after. Maybe increase that glow a little bit. Once again, if I zoom if I move my finger up and down, we choose between the controls. If I move it left to right, it, I can increase or decrease the amount of that control. The final thing I'm going to add, add here is a frame. So we'll go down to frame, and then we can choose amongst our frames, and then move our finger left or right to increase or decrease the width of the frame. I'm going to increase it to the maximum and hit check. 
just so I can show you something. If you look up in the upper right-hand corner right now, you see a 5. That 5 lists the number of changes that we've made so far. There was crop, there was spot removal, there was tune image, there was glamour glow, and there were frames. If I tap that 5, it shows me the stack of changes that I've made. And I can step back through from frames to get rid of frames and get glamour glow, tune image. I can then tap on frames again and it reapplies all the changes. So not only can you look at the different steps that you've done, but you can also change them. If I tap again on Glamour Glow here, you'll see a flyout that says uh, has a trash can for delete, a brush for masking, and sliders for modifying. Let's modify the glow. It takes me back into the glow module. I can increase the glow if I like. Let's increase it to about 55. Tap check mark and then I can go back and reapply the frames on top of it. Now let's look at masking. Masking is something you can do not only for frames but for any of these changes. The default for masking is that the entire effect is removed, in this case the frame is removed, but you can paint it back in. I'd rather leave the whole thing in, the whole frame in, and then paint out parts of the frame. So I tap the invert button at the lower left hand side and that puts in the entire frame and now the brush will act to mask it out. I use a two-fingered pinch to zoom in. You'll see down at the bottom center frames amount is zero. That means that I am erasing any frame that's there. And I use my brush to come down here and erase the frame. I can tap the increase button to take it back to 100% and paint back in the frame. So that's what I'm going to do around the edge of this is use frame at zero to find out where the edge of my bloom is here and where it overlaps the frame and then increase back to a hundred and paint the frame back in right up to the edge of the bloom. The brush characteristics are not modifiable. It's always a soft edged brush. And, it, and the size of the brush is determined by how far you've zoomed in. The only way you can get a small brush is to zoom way in on the image. As I said, you can do this with any of my steps, any of the modifications that I've made. I could brush in or out glow or tune image or even spots if I'd so desired, but if I wanted to remove them, why would I go back and mask them out? So I can make relatively quick work of this. Paint it back in around the edge. And that's got it all. I tap my check and the mask is applied. So now we have our stack completed here. I can close the stack by tapping close up the upper left and I'm ready to save my image. When I tap save there are two options now save and save a copy. If I did save it would go through applying all these changes and then it would ask allow Snapseed to modify this photo that's because Snapseed will now overwrite the original if you just say save. I don't want that to happen so I tap don't allow and I go back to save and I hit save a copy of that image to the camera roll. There is a, another uh, slight problem with saving that I will go into in my text versions of these tutorials. 
I will um, be writing uh, more detailed tutorials of Snapseed and the new features within Snapseed uh, on my blog, Enthusiasm Noted, and also at The App Whisperer. So please come visit me there uh, it, I, at either one of those sites for further information on the new Snapseed. Until next time, this is Jerry.